talk, talk about the climate as well. Some good friends of ours have joined us this morning from GCIC, the Ghana Climate Innovation Center. And they are in the presence of Dr. Dramani Bukari. He is the Director of Partnerships, Entrepreneurship and Investments at GCIC. And Profi Ajiman, he is a Senior Research Associate and Independent Consultant in Mani, Ghana, GCIC Policy Advocacy Partner. And Anthony Owusu Ansa, CEO of Shark Express, which happens to be one of the enterprises that G. CIC has helped over the period. Gentlemen, you're very welcome. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming this morning. Thank Who you. wants to throw more light on what exactly GCIC does? Mr. Bukari, you want to take that for us? Great. Absolutely. So the Ghana Climate Innovation Center is a national business incubator focused on supporting businesses that are providing solutions towards the climate crisis that okay. we currently have on our hands. And we are focused on eliciting these businesses from largely five sectors. Renewable energy, energy efficiency, climate smart agriculture, mm. domestic waste, waste management, water management and purification. And for businesses that fall outside of these five sectors, mm. for as long as they have a very you know, big right. growth potential okay. or commercial potential, mm. Mm. we also support them to green their production processes oh. in order that as they grow the environmental externalities can be reduced you know so we still get to achieve the same aim of what maintaining a livable climate for you and I. Fantastic. Now Mr. Ajman, you are from Imani Ghana yes. and you are in collaboration with um, GCIC. GCIC. Yes. How long has this collaboration been? been? So I think we've been talking for over, over a year now but okay. our current uh, project focuses on how green businesses can thrive in Ghana. So that's the current uh, project we are working on. We find that climate smart businesses, which uh, are incubated by GCIC, mm. have immense potential of not only helping the fight and challenges that climate change presents to Ghana, but also creating more jobs and revenue for, for the country. So in this current um, project that we are working on, we are using research, we are also um, using consultative dialogues with mm. several stakeholders to, to be a platform uh, for policy advocacy uh, in the next coming months. So that is what we're working on at the moment. Congratulations to, to you for all that you've been able to do with the GIC. So it, it means you've been working just for a year? You said you've been talking yeah. for like a year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and you've, you've achieved so much already because I see that Anthony is here. Anthony, I'm going okay. to be coming to you in a little bit. But yeah. Mr. Bukhari, so you want to throw more light on the impact that you have made so far here in Ghana, especially when it comes to uh, um, innovation and um, climate change okay. as well. All right, but first of all, let me start by clarifying that okay. our the existence of GCIC right. predates our partnership with Imani. With Imani. Our partnership with Imani only started one year ago. So when did you but start But we operation? have been in existence since 2016. Wow. Yes, and, and, and we have been supporting businesses. Actually, we have supported a total of about 121 businesses. You don't say. Yes, over the course of this period. Um, in the last one and a half years, we have supported um, 70 businesses, mm -hmm. um, 45, 46 actually, okay. of which are women-owned or women-led businesses. And we like to emphasize that I'm because that. We, are, we are focused on parity, so okay. we are looking at 50-50 at, at the end of the okay. program implementation, uh, okay. but we are here for, for a long while. Mm -hmm. In terms of impact, uh, over the course of this period, we have created about 680 jobs and counting, wow. um, just by the 70 businesses. Okay. Uh, if we add the other businesses, it's far more. Uh, um, we have also generated, in terms of cumulative revenues, by the 70 businesses, um, 4.3 million dollars wow not uh, even over, yes over the course of just 1.5 mm. years mm. Uh, and and again we have also been able to you know avoid carbon emission equivalents mm. uh, of about of about 558 thousand metric tons that translates to what some 360,000 Ghanaians will normally emit you know, annually. 
So which by us is, is very significant mm -hmm. in terms of achieving the nationally yeah. determined contributions yeah. of this country, yeah. particularly around the targets of what lowering you know, carbon emissions yeah. in, in support of the climate fight as we continue to expand you know, our growth. Thank you so much for the fight and a special thank you for the employment that you're providing because Absolutely. that's the major, major problem in this country. Yeah. You are helping solve a national headache and we want to say thank you this morning. But Anthony, we that. I will you. bring you in. First of all, tell us about your business, what you do and how it has actually helped with our climate challenges that we have in this country and the world at large. Okay, so thank you very much for having me here. So Shark Express is, is a tech-driven courier company. That's the name of your company? Yes, that's okay. the name. And what we do is that we connect you to your needs. Okay. So we pick up and drop packages. We have created a platform that you can buy anything that you need right. on the platform. Okay. So today you can buy ECG, you can, buy from, you can get your drugs online, you can buy food, um, anything you think of from toothbrush to anything, you can have it on Shark Express. Okay. That we, so at some point last two years, we decided that we wanted to face out our fuel bikes mm -hmm. and, and be more friendly to our environment. So what do you use now? We, use, we have 29 electric bikes now. Thanks to GCIC and some other partners, we have, 20, we have phased out some of them, not fully. Hopefully next year, God willing, we'll, we'll be fully an electric uh, motorcycle uh, delivery company. And uh, the impact has been that we have reduced our carbon footprints in, in, in Ghana. Um, we have, we've also been able to em employ female dispatch riders. We have okay. currently five of them. Oh, wow. And um, we are looking at ways, smart, innovative ways to mm. be sustainable mm. um, whilst we are delivering packages to our customers. Okay. Ms. Mukari, how did you find him? How, 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 what's the that's, collaboration okay, like? Okay, so that's an interesting question. Mm. Normally, and at the moment, mm. we, we are currently on that, on that journey as well. So normally, on, a, an, on an annual basis, okay. so when the businesses come into the incubator, they right. do nine months with that. They benefit from a number of packages, including entrepreneurship training, okay. technology and product development support, financial grant support, you know, and, and market growth and access support, mm. several kinds of support that right. comes together into the holistic support that we provide to them. And normally when we do this, we will normally go and do road shows in various regions, okay. try to sell the idea to bad entrepreneurs right. on, on the support that we provide to get to try to get them. We also put out an expression of interest or call. We put out a call for expression of interest and that call is often floated across various social media handles mm -hmm. and it's also hosted on our, on our website mm -hmm. and we do announcements on radio and TV and discussions like this. Oh, all of that targeted at the to people, to exactly, all of them ta targeted it. at people who can Thank potentially so enter the incubator. But this is yeah. December, so is it the end of the road for this year? No. How do we enroll okay. next year so, if there are newer people who so want to So at the moment, forward? if you go on to our website, mm -hmm. which is www.ghanacic.org, mm -hmm. you will see that applications are open. You okay. click on apply, okay. and then you can apply. Applications open at the end of January, January. which is 31st January. Okay. Yeah. So just at the beginning of the year, End of January, exactly. you get to so apply. Will, you get to apply, okay. and then we will do a, a screening to find the businesses that are aligned. Yeah. We will go do the diligence, and then we will take it. From Is the money part of the screening as well? Well, no. I think our, they do seek our advice right. on, set, on certain uh, points. Screening? But for now, mm -hmm. our main um, um, contribution will be to advance the policy change debate. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's a, you know, the the, the whole um, eco space in terms of policy for climate smart business is not existent. Yeah. So that is what we are pushing for. That's where for. you come in. Um, and that's what, so that we can fill the gaps and uh, mm -hmm. climate mm -hmm. smart businesses mm -hmm. can thrive uh, mm -hmm. in the country. Fantastic. Mr. Bukhari, I'm told there, were, there are some videos that you are launching across board. Absolutely. Okay, where so, do we find these videos? So these few videos after they have been aired on various uh, national TV platforms, uh, or platforms okay. we will now Hoist them okay. on our YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, so anyone can visit the Ghana CIC YouTube channel, okay. and then you would be able to watch them thereafter. Okay. I think that should be from about Tuesday next okay. week. Okay. Yeah. Now, for startups and entrepreneurs who are watching this morning, is there a number or a website they can come to for all the information if they want to enroll in January next year? Absolutely. Okay. They can go to www.ghanacic.org. Okay or you can find Ghana Climate Innovation Center on Instagram, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, mm. uh, and on Twitter. Now X, sorry. <laughs> okay. All righty. Thank you so much for coming this morning.
Anthony, you need to employ me. I need to join the females who are doing the writing for you and doing the deliveries for you. But I'm happy that you have some women you have yes. employed. I mean, we are helping to solve a common problem that we all have. Imani, thank you for this collaboration. Yeah. Besides, Iman, I have a little business. In January, I'll apply. Let's Please, see how I will also be able to help with the climate challenges that we are having in the country. Thank you so much for, for coming. Mm. We've been speaking to these gentlemen from Imani Ganaji, CIC. And Shaq, is this Shaq Express? Shaq yes, Express. Yes, I got that right. Yes. I'll, I'll be engaged. So you're online, right? We find yes, you, so you online. Can, yes, you can find us on all social media. You can do, download our app as well okay. on App Store and Play Store or okay. visit our website. Shaq Express. How do you spell the Shaq? S-H-A-Q. Okay, S-H-A-Q. -A I would have said TK, but it's S-H-A-Q. <laughs> yes. All right, thank you so much. Now, let's cash out before we say our final goodbye this morning. So our third or fourth winner for this morning is MTN number zero, da, 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 drum roll, 0244657 with three numbers behind it. Now, here's your reminder that on the 22nd, on the 22nd of this month, it is Christmas. That day, two people will be winning 10,000 Ghana CDs each. Yes, that's the biggest jackpot ever that we are having here on TV3 New Day. So make sure that you keep playing the game. Star 439 hash. Star 439 hash. Play the game every day by selecting option two, which is TV3 New Day, the platform on which you're watching us right now. So I think we're being too generous this morning. Let's cash out to one more person before we say goodbye. And that will be MTN number 055-9869 with three numbers behind it. Make sure once you wake up in the morning, just when you see TV3 New Day at 6 a.m. when the news starts, starts playing the game. Star 439 hash if you are an MTN subscriber. Now let's get into some birthdays at the moment. Let's see. Oliver, do you send me anything for birthdays? There are so many birthdays here this morning. Okay, let's see. Um, this one is going out to um, Christiana Owusu of Ghana Prison Service Headquarters. Thank you for all the sacrifices. You're on the ninth floor. Um, Okay, whilst we get so much more birthday celebrations today, um, let's talk about the all-white party as well, the 3FM 92.7 um, all-white party. We've been talking about it. I'm sure AJ will join us tomorrow to deliberate more about it. Beth, more birthdays. Um, this one um, is coming from Uncle Ray. Um, let me fetch that quickly. Let me fetch that quickly. But in the meantime, happy birthday, Anita. May God bless you. It's coming from Manya. Did they so many birthdays here? I think we will do the rest tomorrow. But Uncle Ray, Uncle Ray, you are wishing your dear wife a happy birthday as well. Thank you so much for being with us today. 6 a.m. tomorrow. We are back. Enjoy the rest of our programming.